Alright, this is uh, Tan Brolo here. This is the second video. If you haven't seen the first one yet, uh, you might want to go back and check that one out first. So here's my 360 all put back together. Uh, I ran through all the stuff that I did to it in the first vid, so you can check that out. Um, but before we go any further, I'm going to give you a pop quiz from the first video. Um, a lot of you people who know about power, this is going to be a joke, but people who know nothing about it, this is a good test. So here you go. Knowing what we now know, that volt times amp equals watt. Um, a, a typical household bulb, not the new fluorescents, but the old ones, 60 watt bulb. That's really common. You go to the store, they got 60 watt bulbs. Household power, AC power, is 120 volts. So, geniuses, pick up your pencils. 120 volts times how many amps? How many amps? equals 60 watts. I'll give you a second. Think about it. Get out your calculators. Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready now? 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 Okay, here you go. The answer is 0.5 amps. Because 120 times 0 0.5 equals 60. So there you go. Now you should know how to figure out how much power you're drawing with your devices. Uh, AC household power uh, typically at 120 volt. DC power, which is what your Xbox runs on, is 12 volt. So 12 volt times however many amps something is, like a fan, is the wattage. This is also really helpful um, whenever you have a power supply with the power rating of, of, of how much uh, power it can use. Like your computer power supply might be 300 watt and as you keep buying new devices and uh, video cards and fans you can add all of this stuff up and figure out what your wattage is so there you go i just wanted to give you that uh... piece of info sorry if you already know but uh... i'm just teaching everybody else who doesn't quite know yet okay so here it is it's back assembled as i said before uh... i had a fan on the top before but i cut this out it's a crappy fan i got for free and it was an exhaust and uh... basically wasn't doing anything so i got rid of that today um, and it exchanged it for a 12 volt mod in the back. Alright, so it's all set up. The XCM fan is right there. Uh, and as I showed you in the first video, the two back fans have now uh, been modified to run on the 12 volt mod. However, the, the 12 volt feed is going through the thermal take switch, which I've got right here. There's a little three way switch in there so that I can change the voltage. Um, just reach down and switch it whenever I want. 12, uh, step it down to 10 and a half, step it down again to 9. So here we go. Better not red ring. Booting, booting, booting. There we go. Green lights. Everything is good. And uh, every time after I disassemble and reassemble, I, I, I always check this, make sure that it works. If your DVD-ROM is slightly crooked in there, uh, you're going to have eject problems. So uh, that's good. All right, we know it works. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I've noticed actually just the amount of airflow coming out the back, even though I cut the metal mesh, the plastic mesh is still there. And it's impeding the airflow a lot, like seriously a lot. It feels like there's half the air than there is when, when it's straight through. So I might actually just go buy some more grills, which are like a dollar a piece at an electronics store nearby, cut the plastic out, and in all likelihood the grill is going to mount up nice using the, uh, the holes that are already there. That's going to help a lot. I can already feel the air getting a little warmer, uh, whereas with no grill here, it was cold. It was always cold. I, I ran it after I set it up for maybe half an hour and it was cold the entire time so I, I think I might be doing that in the next few days anyway the only thing else I want to show you is the switch the way it works it's running at 12 volt right now and uh, it's making a fair amount of noise so I just reach in there much better that's 9 volt I think yeah, so there's ten and a half. That's where I, I'd like to keep it. So let's go through it again. Twelve. Twelve volt. 
Use 12 volt in the back, sounds right. Now I'll switch it to 10 and a half. Much quieter. And 9 volt. So, like I said, even at 9 volt, you're getting a lot more airflow in the back than the 5 volt that the Xbox would get if I didn't do this switch. So that's helpful. So that's about all I have to show you for today. Um, best of luck out there to all of you who keep getting the red rings. Uh, hope you manage to get a fix that sticks. I'm hoping for the same myself. Uh, this has been a Tan Brolo production. Uh, hope it's been helpful. And uh, post a comment if, uh, if you like this, if you hate this, uh, whatever. Cheers.